Hello, I'm Andrea Praper, and this is Ocala's Rapid Report for Tuesday, July 18th. Line dancing in the forest tonight. Youth and adults are welcome. Yeehaw! Everyone can learn to line dance. Music ranges from country to modern pop music, and anyone of any age can learn to sidestep and sway. This is out at the Forest Community Center at Sand Hill Park, so go on out for that. Ocala's new mayor. Well, it is officially official. Ben Marciano will be Ocala's next mayor. Current mayor Kent Gwynn had announced that after 12 years, he would not be looking for re-election. Ben Marciano is the owner of Zone Fitness. His campaign was completely unopposed and drew a lot of financial support for his mayoral seat. The firemen and police agreed on something during this election. They both endorsed his candidacy. As no opposing candidate stepped forward to run and July 14th was the cutoff for the qualifying period, Marciano won by default. Term will begin December 5th. City Council person Christine Dreyer also ran unopposed and so will continue for a second term on the City Council. There will be an election for the third seat on the Council, which will be between Ayer Bethia and Reginald Landers. The election will, uh, for that will be on September 19th. 69-acre housing development, I-75 and Highway 484. A permit application on file with the Southwest Florida Water Management District says that the company seeks permission to clear and grade 65 acres to make way for a future planned unit development. A company representative told the Star Banner that the plan is for mixed-use multifamily property. 484 Investment LLC paid $8.75 million for 69 acres back in December. At the time, the company representative said that there were no firm plans for the land. Area residents are concerned about the morning traffic jam at I-75 and 484 that is a daily nightmare for morning and evening commuters. To add 69 acres of additional homes would be difficult until such time as the infrastructure at that particular bottleneck has been remedied. Many wonder what is taking so long, but because much of the required changes involve I-75, it takes a monumental amount of effort to get changes approved and completed. Today's rapid report was brought to you by Great Expectations Realty, where you can expect more from real estate. Now over to Dr. Doctor for today's weather.